Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Just wanted to make this video so I can get this knife on camera before Jim Skelton does. No, I'm kidding. Um, so it's been a while, guys. Uh, hopefully I can fit this video in before the fucking battery dies or it overheats or something. I, this camera is terrible. I mean, it's probably the one of the one of the main reasons I don't make many YouTube videos. It, it just kind of gives me that slight push to not do it because uh, it's so damn frustrating. So. But it's been a while, so you know I might be a little awkward in the video, which is always nice. I, so I made sure my pants were off before the cameras got on, so you know, so it's maximum awkward level. So you know, kind of like ripping off a band-aid, you know. But anyway, now that weirdness is over with. So yeah, I got this triple eight. Um, I didn't get it because I'm special or because I'm anybody. I got it because I'm freaking. I was obsessed with it when I saw it, like a year and a half or two years or when the fuck it came out. But uh. I made sure to get get one of these as as soon as I could. So finally got it, and does not disappoint. The Triple Eight is is like the sexiest design I have ever seen. Like it's one of the sexiest looking knives I've ever seen, hands down. Um, but this isn't this isn't a review of this knife, guys. I'm just saying uh, I appreciate quality and zero tolerance. Like did a hell of a job on this thing. I mean the lines, the look of it, the action. The pocket clip is like the best pocket clip I've ever seen. I mean, it almost looks like an integral knife. It's definitely a backspacer, but um, the grind is beautiful. It's just really, really nice. As you can see, the grind and the the way it glints gets a mirror, like a, not a mirror, like a rainbow look to it. It's pretty insane. See that shimmer? I don't know why you guys all hate the ZT logo so damn bad. A lot of people complain about that all the time. It's annoying. Just appreciate quality, guys. So, it's been a long time, uh, and a lot of things have happened since the last time I made a video. Uh, even before that, a lot of things have happened. A lot of really bad, shitty things. I learned a lot about myself, about the knife world, and uh, about knives in general, and the knife community, and how really terrible it can be, guys. I mean, there's some some really shitty things that people do to each other. I mean, I see it happening, it happens to me, it happens to this person, that person. I have knife makers telling me like it just gets worse and you know, it's not a very good outlook, but you know, it's something I have to deal with, so yeah, I put myself out there for you guys. Like I'm I'm only a phone call away, which some people think I'm nuts for doing and sometimes I think I'm nuts for doing that. Uh, because you could text me or call me at any time, but I am not good with emails, guys. So I just figure, and it, it's just easier for me um, to talk one on one with you guys instead of some emails uh, where basically you write anything and you get stuck doing it. I mean, I can tell somebody, you know, they can hear the tone of my voice, like, you know, it's going to take this long, but things happen. So, you know, you guys can be understanding about that. And the person I'm talking about, you know, it's a friendly conversation, whereas email is just like blah, blah, blah. You don't know what the hell their, their intentions are, or what kind of person they are. You just get words on a screen. And guys, it is not the only means of communication. It really isn't. It's a great way to communicate, but I choose to write things down and save phone numbers. It's better for me. And if you don't like that, that's too fucking bad. That's just the way it's going to be. So if, if that bugs you, then go somewhere else. But, you know, if you want a nice personal experience, uh, and uh, very hands-on with what you're getting with your Tannic. You know, that's that's what I'm all about. Like, when I do one person's Tannic, that couple days is is all that person and uh, nothing else. So I make sure to talk back and forth with them. You know, I send them pictures. They tell me changes they want, and I change them, uh, which is, you know, it's a simple thing. So anyway, so I got a bunch of Tannics today. Uh, this was a, a Minos here. It belongs to a good friend of mine. This is actually not a Boker. This is actually made by Jen Zanzo himself. Uh, as you can see, it's a Proto. This one's for sale, guys, for $1,200. Um, he, he gave it to me to try to sell it for him. Um, it is it is definitely really, really nice. I mean, Anzo's quality is, is top-notch. And I know a lot of guys didn't so much like the Boker Minos. I personally thought it was, like, one of their best knives ever because it was so damn solid. But uh, this one is, is, you know, it's perfection. It is the real Boker Minos made for Bo Boker. Uh, the prototype to make it off of and uh, you can't really tell on video here, but guys it, it is it is really nice I mean, it's just the qualities exceeds the Boker ones, but Boker got it pretty damn good guys I mean they definitely have shaped up a lot 
uh, in the past few years. I think they really took notice of the community and what people were saying about this and that, especially with the Anzos. So it's pretty cool, guys. If you want, it's 1200 bucks. It's a one of a kind. There'll never be another one. So it's a piece of history. So let me know if you want it, guys. I know it's a bit steep, but it is a custom, a full handmade custom. Uh, and it, it, it spawned a whole line of, of Minos. All right, so that out of the way. First up, we have my prototype, sort of my new knife, uh, the new model, which I don't have a name for, guys. The one thing that I am not good with is thinking of names for knives. I see other guys doing it, and I'm like, how the hell did he think of that? And, like, even when their knife sounds like a really stupid name, people seem to latch onto it. I mean, for God's sakes, I called myself Tough Knives. That's terrible. But I got stuck with it, so hopefully you guys don't think it's dumb. But, I mean... <laughs> And I don't want to do tough, insert name here, with a knife, because it gets a little old, like tough tank, tough tannic, like, I just prefer to call it the tannic, tough knives tannic. I mean, tough tannic does, does roll off the tongue, but I don't want to be stuck into playing word games with my name, so. But, you know, it is funny to hear that everybody wants every knife called the Rhino, which is kind of funny. Um, but this one, basically, there's no name. This is a slimmed down version of the tannic. Uh, what it's meant to be is a different model. Uh, and some people say, oh, well, it looks just like a Tannic, but slimmer. Well, that's the thing, though. Um, most knife companies and knife makers, they kind of keep a cohesive style, like, that, that relates to another knife. I mean, you look at you look at a Strider uh, AR and a Strider SNG, you can tell they're both Striders, you know what I mean? Like, even if you didn't know who they were or who made them, they kind of have a similar look. So that's what I'm going for. It's my style. So a lot of them are going to have this style. There will be a few oddballs here and there. Uh, and who knows, my, my, my style in this knife is evolving a lot, and um, I think I've come to a nice spot where I, I really like it, which I'll show you uh, in the next couple. Uh, but this one, it's, it's a lot slimmer, like by far. Uh, you can see the original here. This is the absolute original handmade Tannic right here. I mean, it is, it's just, it's a lot better. I mean, the thick, <laughs> it's like half the thickness. Um, but I love this thing. It is so perfect. I've gotten down everything pretty well. The only thing I ever come across with problems is occasionally I'll cut too far with the lock and I get some blade play, but I do have a fix for that. So um, that is the only problem I'm coming across. Other than that, I can fix most any problems I come across with the Tannic because it's a learning experience. But I've come across mostly any problem I can, I, I can think of so far. So, but this one is mine, and it's probably going to stay in my hands. I may sell it, but you'd have to understand that, that the screw on the back there, because I made it from a Tannic, is way too close to the edge, um, which bugs the shit out of me, which makes it not sellable in my eyes. It is perfect. If you don't mind that, you know, maybe eventually I'll sell it. So if anybody's interested in that one, uh, let me know, and, like, I'll keep you in mind. I'll write it down or something like that, so if I do need to get rid of it or... I do want to sell it, or you do really want it really badly, uh, I am willing to part with it because I have my favorite Tannic that I made ever. I try to keep one Tannic. I, I had too many it before. I kept making some and keeping them, and yeah, I can't do that, guys. That's bad. So this one is, is sellable, and that, that it is staying there. There's a screw. You try doing a hidden screw and, and, and tell me how easy it is. But this thing, I love the action on it. Lockup's perfect. Um, it's not exactly how I want it. It's not exactly how the next model is going to be uh, because when you close it, the blade sort of comes out. Well, it doesn't anymore, but it looked better before I brought the blade in a little bit. Um, I liked it before. So I have to design it to basically close like here instead of here. Uh, see, it's going in a little, it's going in nicely. It looks great, but I, if it was up here, it's hard to do this because the detent is so, so freaking sexy. Like right there would have been really good so then it wouldn't stick out at all but it doesn't stick out anymore so it's definitely a working good knife and it's solid it really works so the zirconium the tri bolster there's sandblasted zirconium which I was really surprised how, how awesome that turns out it's like dark dark gray and then black g10 I tried wood uh, and it didn't it wouldn't work with me it just kept chipping breaking warping and it just sucks so g10 best material to work with besides titanium so, that one, no name. Next up, before this video gets too damn long, uh, this one is for sale. Uh, I have a, 
guy offered me 900 bucks for it, so I might just sell it to him. Um, and, you know, I love this thing. It's it's really nice. It's got the micro natural pattern on it. A harpoon blade with a nice heavy uh, jimping. This is a beast right here. This one is a working knife right here. The finish on it is just just scratch proof in every way. It's got a nice big belly on it. Really nice lockup. It is never going to move. Uh, this is one of my favorite part pieces that I've done uh, because it's just I just feel like this one would really be a good companion knife and like one of those knives that you could you could have as your last knife you know like you could not need another one because it's got a lot of it's a very utilitarian knife and it just feels so nice and the action is insane on it and it's just this really good pop and just flies out like you can't you just press it like so easily it's a really hard nice detent but it doesn't hurt your finger uh, like a few that I made specifically for that. Some people like a hard detent, so it happens. But yeah, this one is for sale, guys. So if you're really interested, let me know on this one. Um, I do need to make some money for Christmas and some supplies and uh, to pay for some things. This one's just addicting to play with. Uh, next up, <clears throat> my favorite uh, Tannic ever. Uh, this one is the the bar has been risen and I did certain things on this one that I will be doing from now on to make sure it has the same qualities that this one does. Uh, I tried something out and it worked really well so that is now the way I'm going to do things for the Tannic. Of course, yeah. One second. so this one, this one is mine. I'm keeping it. I love it. Uh, I will have this for a long time because it's perfect in every way. And uh, Bayer didn't want it, so no big deal. Uh, so this blade shape is gorgeous. I love it. The finish is sexy as hell. It's kind of got a spatter, like a stonewash spatter on it with bronze in the background. Backspacer is nice. Nice sculpted clip. This is the style clip I'm going to be doing from now on, guys. Uh, I finally figured out exactly what I like. Uh, so, you know, the non-sculpted, it's more like this. This one's a little bit more styly, but this, this guy, I love the way that goes around the screw like that. It goes nicely flush against the edge there. Uh, bronzed hardware. I slimmed down the lock bar a hair just by doing some nice little lines in there, which uh, improved the action a lot. Uh, now it's, it's just, it's super smooth, nice and centered nice action easy to disengage great choil this thing works really nice um, nice thin grind on it full flat I'm not doing so much of a any convex really anymore uh, I just want to perform a little bit more in certain ways so it's mainly a full flat slicer type of grind kind of going at an upward angle it's still a little bit thicker at the tip there just to keep that nice tip for you know, full penetration, like mom used to say. What? But uh, just, I love this one. So that one's going right back in my pocket. Uh, next up, next up, okay. So this one, yeah, this one's a work in progress. We'll show this one. This one is from my buddy Steve. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking he might like this enough to keep it. He didn't communicate well enough with the bolster style. He wanted like the halfway down one, but. Uh, the guy, he didn't quite portray that to me very well. So he said bolster at the top, so that's what I did. So I may change the scale for him. He may like it like this. But this, I want to try something different. I wanted like a, a fancy working knife. So I've been toying around with a wire brush and an uh, orange peel. So I orange peeled the Timascus. And orange peel allows, the, you know, it's basically scratch proof, which I really like. And uh, since I've been doing a more aggressive orange peel, I've been trying that out. Uh, it seems to make shit like just not scratchable. So the Timascus looks nice. It doesn't quite fade as much when you touch it. Uh, the pot, the color, there's a trade-off. The colors don't pop quite as much, but it is, it's less fruity looking, I guess you'd say, and uh, more subdued, and uh, just a really aggressive stone wash in the blade there with a nice Bowie shape or Persian shape. Brought it down here, brought this in a little bit to make it really comfortable. 
backspacer is also orange peeled Timascus. Uh, the backspacers with Timascus never quite show much of anything anyway, so just made a little nice one. It's got a nice grimy look to it if you check it out in person. Um, this one is not finished. As you can tell, the lockup is weird. Centering's perfect. It's great. I love it. Action's nice. It's comfortable. I like this one a lot. This is your standard blade shape for the Persian style now. Uh, this one and uh, the one I just put in my pocket. This is what you'll get if you want the Bowie shape. It's a standard Bowie or a straight Bowie. Uh, it's kind of a, more like a harpoon Bowie. And this one's more of a standard Bowie. Uh, and you can take the Tonto out a little bit and it's a little bit more of a thin grind or you can keep the Tonto it's still going to be a thinner grind but a little bit thicker than this one so and uh, the Blade HQ stuff will be up again after Christmas um, so yeah now on to the last one I'm going to show today this one is a labor of love uh, the guy you know he I've been talking to him for a while and he didn't even know I made knives really and uh, he had a very, a very like high-end collection of knives, which was ridiculous. Uh, Rexford's particularly, which is nuts. Uh, so he wanted a Tannic, and he saw Justin Laffer's Tannic. He really liked it. And he's like, can you do something like that? So I was like, yes, but it's going to be different because I have ideas for that. That one was an experiment. turned out that way. It turned out great. I loved it, but it didn't go exactly as planned, but the, the result was nice. But this guy had to push a little bit further, and he wanted a hand rub, and I don't do hand rubs, but I have always been curious about it, so I figured, why not? And he said, you know, take as long as you want, doesn't matter to me, just do a good job, like, you know, take your time. So I figured I'd, I'd give it a shot, I've always been curious about it, and uh, I wanted to do something interesting with zirconium, uh, so this is what I came up with, guys. And this one took me a very long time, so I call this the Zirkle bolster. Is zirconium like a half circle? Um, these pins are probably going to be polished, or these screws are going to be polished, maybe uh, heat colored. I don't know. They look nice sandblasted there. Um, this one needs to be a little longer though. Uh, these sides are heavily orange peeled. Oh, okay. Doesn't want to focus anymore. It's a nice heavy orange peel there, a little bit of a rough hammered pattern. Not actually hammered, but close to it. Same with the uh, cut in here to give it a less tension on the lock bar. Uh, still needs some work on the blade, uh, particularly the spine here. There's a little blemish there, but I'm not finished it quite that. I'm not quite finished with it. Uh, but this is my first attempt at a hand rub, guys. It took me around six hours. Uh, to get everything out and I'm paranoid about it. Uh, it's really, really smooth and I'm thinking that's because of the, the hand rub finish on the uh, detent ball is just super, super smooth. But as you can see, it, it looks pretty good. I mean, this is how I did it. Uh, everything's like kind of rounded like up by the, um, the Ricasso line here. That's because of all the sanding I've been doing. So trying to figure out a way to do it to get in this notch here. As you can see, it, it's nice and shiny in there. Um, the lines are not perfect, but they're getting there. Um, it's almost to where I want it. I think it just needs a little bit more of something. Just a, a few touches. It's good enough right now to show to you guys as the finished product. Because you'll get the idea of what it's going to look like. Um, Lockup's pretty perfect on this one. The bolster is like one of my favorite bolsters I've ever done. Um, the zirconium is probably going to have a sandblast finish on it. I don't know. It has like some weird orange peel finish on there. But it's not even throughout. So, But it does avoid scratching. And nice domed screws. So we'll see how that goes. But I really like the action on this guy. It's nice and centered. Really smooth. Probably going to have a zirconium pocket clip. Even though I've been told not to do that. It's not that strong. Uh, but... The one zirconium one I did before, I haven't heard any issues, and uh, it seemed pretty strong. I, I tested it out a bit, 
but this one is is special don't ask me to do this <laughs> I, I don't think I'm really up to it again uh, for a while uh, maybe sometime down the road if uh, someone asks me I might say yes uh, maybe I get better equipment uh, to do it with because I kind of was just you know winging it so this is what came out there's no edge on here yet as you can tell so I'm kind of dreading that because you get little shavings on here you can wipe it off and ruin the finish but I sure as hell wasn't gonna be sitting there rubbing a blade with a ridiculous edge on it the whole time this one's just so smooth I love it so this is yeah so these are the Tanix and how they will be looking from now on for the most part um, the next run from Blade HQ they're not gonna be so so crazy uh, I do have another steampunk one that's going to be done. I got some titanium gears made for it, so that should be pretty crazy. Uh, that one, of course, is for Carlos. Of course. So, I'm going to try to do more YouTube videos, guys. Um, I really want to do tutorials on pattern work. That's one thing I really want to do for people who have been asking for it for a long time. And I'm thinking about just, just you know, any secrets I have with these patterns, like, I'm pretty sure you guys have figured it out by now. And I got nothing to lose by it except, you know, just just sharing it with you guys. I think is is going to be pretty cool. So you see my process for doing that. I want to do a build, but I need someone to basically be a camera guy for me. Uh, my buddy might come by and do that uh, build process for the Tanix, <sighs> and also a shop tour, which I may do tonight. Uh, it's pretty clean in here, so I figure maybe. But yeah, guys. Um, yeah, that's about it for right now. Just a bunch of tannics. The pimp jobs I have here. If you have a pimp job here and you're concerned about it, let me know. If you have a pimp job and a tannic, uh, let me know if you want to knock money off the price of the tannic and get your knife back. But in the meantime, I have been fixing up. Um, a lot of the pimp jobs were done um, partially by somebody who messed them up pretty badly. I haven't had one yet that hasn't been messed up and uh, it really kind of sucks guys. I'm trying to recover from that. Uh, turned out to be more of a burden than, than a help. So um, my fault for trusting people's abilities but unfortunately some of the pimp jobs that they're, they're just so bad I, I can't do anything but restart them. Some of them the parts were lost because people weren't exactly being responsible with them, uh, basically being a teenage kid. So, unfortunately, I have to say that, but it's the reality of the situation is everyone I've that, that, that's gone out has been sent back, and it's pretty bad. It's something I missed on some of them, but uh, do not worry. Um, they will be nice, trust me. Uh, and for waiting, some of the people that have waited longer than others, trust me, you, you will have gifts, gifts showered upon you, and 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 magical things happen, and 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 in with any knife you want from me, just ask. You're on the list, and you're right away. So that is something you guys get if you have a pimp job here and you hate me for it. I will do whatever I can to to make it better. So just let me know.